A Zimbabwean inventor has created shockwaves not only in Zimbabwe and Africa, but in the entire world. That's because what he has invented is the greatest invention after humanity invented the wheel. The name of this inventor is Maxwell Chikumbutso, and he has revolutionized the energy industry. He has created a device, or technology, which uses free energy available in the atmosphere in the form of radio waves. In any machine, from television, bike, car to helicopter, this device has to be fitted and that machine would run on its own. It won't require any fuel or electricity because the device will convert the radio waves into electrical energy. Even Maxwell created a free energy generator, each of which supplies electricity to 300 standard homes. However, his invention has been doubted. Until now, when an elite university and independent scientist teams have come and vetted his invention. So, what did they find out? In this video, let's know about the whole story in detail. A technological revolution is unfolding in Africa, one that threatens to completely change the global energy industry and free the continent from dependence on fossil fuels and centralized power grids. At the heart of this transformation is Maxwell Chikumbutso, a Zimbabwean inventor who has developed a self-powered vehicle that generates its own energy using radio frequencies. Unlike conventional cars that rely on gasoline or battery charging stations, Chikumbutso's vehicle continuously recharges itself as it moves, eliminating the need for fuel or electricity. However, behind this self-powered car is a free energy generating device which actually powers the car. This device can be installed in any machine or electronic device and the result will be a limitless supply of energy. This innovation has shattered conventional scientific understanding, earning the endorsement of elite universities, independent scientists, and even government officials. Most notably, the Harare Institute of Science and Technology has recognized Chikumbutso's work as a breakthrough in global energy innovation, positioning Zimbabwe at the forefront of next-generation technology. But this self-powered car is only the beginning. Chikumbutso's research extends far beyond transportation, including home generators, helicopters, and consumer electronics that can all run on free atmospheric energy. If successfully scaled, his technology could provide an unlimited supply of clean, cost-free energy, allowing African nations to power homes, businesses, and industries without relying on foreign-controlled energy sources. However, this breakthrough is not without resistance. Powerful corporations and governments that profit from energy dependency are already working to suppress it. For this reason, Maxwell is being provided with high-profile security protocols to ensure he remains safe. Anyone who comes to meet him, especially scientists from the Western countries, are thoroughly checked, and it's ensured they are not a threat to Maxwell. But how does Maxwell's device work? Well, for more than a century, the world has been locked into a system of centralized energy control, dictated by oil companies, electricity grids, and battery manufacturers. These industries have built their wealth on global dependence, ensuring that energy remains a scarce, expensive commodity. But Maxwell Chikumbutso's revolutionary radio frequency-based energy system disrupts this entire structure by offering a self-sustaining power source that never runs out. His technology functions by extracting radio frequencies from the atmosphere and converting them into usable electrical power. This means that machines powered by his system do not need fuel, external electricity, or even battery recharging. They sustain themselves indefinitely. Unlike conventional energy sources, which require constant refueling or recharging, Chikumbutso's devices continuously generate their own power as they operate, making them completely independent of any external power supply. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Black Africa. Let's continue now. The invention of microscopic devices has now led to a series of groundbreaking inventions, each more disruptive than the last. His self-powered car, for instance, is capable of driving indefinitely without requiring gasoline or electric charging stations. Similarly, his free energy generator has the potential to power homes, entire communities, and even industries, 
removing the need for fossil fuels, power grids, or expensive solar installations. Chikumbutso has also developed a helicopter that runs on radio frequencies, eliminating the need for aviation fuel and making air travel cheaper, cleaner, and potentially unlimited in range. However, it extends far beyond transportation. Household electronics, such as refrigerators, televisions, and lights, could be designed to operate without ever being plugged into a power source. Imagine a world where appliances never need charging, homes never receive an electricity bill, and businesses operate entirely on self-generated power. This is not just a futuristic dream. Chikumbutso's technology is proving that it is possible right now. If widely adopted, his work could lead to one of the most significant economic and technological shifts in modern history. The monopoly of the oil and energy industries would be shattered, and developing nations, particularly those in Africa, could get rid of decades of energy struggles, achieving self-sufficiency and true independence. Interestingly, when Chikumbutso first introduced his self-powered technology, he was met with skepticism and resistance. Many within the scientific community dismissed his claims as impossible, arguing that energy cannot be generated out of nothing. However, his inventions have since undergone rigorous independent testing, and the results have silenced critics. The Harare Institute of Science and Technology, one of Africa's most prestigious technological institutions, officially endorsed Chikumbutso's work as a breakthrough in energy science. University researchers confirmed that his devices function as claimed, marking a historic moment for African innovation. Beyond Africa, elite international scientists and independent engineers from Switzerland and other Western countries traveled to Zimbabwe to personally assess the validity of Chikumbutso's inventions. Their findings were groundbreaking. His self-powered car operated exactly as described, requiring no external power source. His free energy generator was capable of powering multiple homes, proving its potential for large-scale electricity generation. Even his radio frequency-powered helicopter successfully demonstrated sustained flight, highlighting the possibilities for fuel-free aviation. With such strong scientific validation, Zimbabwe is now emerging as a global leader in free energy technology. However, this success has also attracted opposition from industries and governments that profit from global energy dependency. The fear among these powerful entities is clear. If Chikumbutso's work becomes mainstream, the trillion-dollar oil, electricity, and battery industries will become obsolete. Throughout history, breakthrough energy technologies have been met with fierce opposition. Inventors who have dared to challenge the established energy monopoly have often faced threats, sabotage, and suppression. The world is addicted to energy dependence, and those who profit from it will not let go easily. Chikumbutso's case is no different. After unveiling his self-powered machines, he encountered immediate resistance. There were also attempts to steal his technology, with people offering him contracts and deals that he rightfully did not trust. He has openly stated that during a visit to Silicon Valley, where he wanted to introduce his work to U.S. investors, he and his research partner were poisoned. This incident, he believes, was a deliberate attempt to silence him and prevent his technology from threatening powerful Western industries. What do you think? Has Maxwell revolutionized the energy industry by inventing something that allows everyone to have their own energy source? Do you feel that the Western scientists coming to meet Maxwell will try to take him with them? In the comment section right below, share your thoughts on the idea that entire homes, industries, cars, and helicopters can be run on free energy. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We bring videos on Black Africa, its history, rich arts and culture, and things the world should know about. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.